today's project. We are working on this super summary crochet poncho. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Oh, don't forget, I always, always say this. Watch the video all the way through before you start it. Um, you never know along the way. I sometimes remember or come up with a tip or a suggestion. So if it's something you could have used at the beginning, it would be great if you would watch it all the way through. And this way also you know what's ahead of you. We're using an F hook. F is in Frank or a 3.75 millimeter. We are going to start with a chain of 192. So I've already got 190, 91, 92. We're going to work with half double crochets and we start with the third chain from the hook. There's one, two, three. Yarn over, insert the hook Pull through for three loops on the hook, pull through all three, and it's a half double crochet. Now if you need help with the beginning stitches, the chain, the half doubles, go to the little white box I'm going to leave up, up above, and that will show you the tutorials for beginners. Sticking to my fingers here. Okay, now we are going to do that half double in each chain all the way across you will end up with 190 half double crochets. Then with the last half double, we will change color. All right, now we are going to bring in the next color. And we started the last half double crochet, so we've got the three loops on the hook. Now the next color will be the darker coral or a darker peach. So we pick up that next color, pull it through the three loops, and that's how you introduce a new color seamlessly. And we're going to chain two, cut off that first color, turn, and now we're going to do another row of half double crochets. And we start with the very first space, right in here for the half double. Now, as we are working along, you will enter the hook under those two strands that form a chain at the top. Okay, so you go under those two strands and work your half double. So you are not working into those spaces in between the posts. You're working under those two strands. Okay, now we are going to introduce the next color. So we will start that last half double. I already cut it off, got ahead of myself. And we are bringing in the cream. So we're going to complete that last half double with the cream and chain one. The next row we're going to work single crochet, so we're only chaining one. Now a couple things here that I thought of, which is why I always say watch the video all the way through. Um, you can work with a looser tension for this pattern, for this project. That will contribute to the flowy drape. So don't work with a tight tension. Loosen it up just a little bit. Now we will turn and start working with single crochet. So you would have had 190 of the half double. Now we're going to have 190 of the singles because we're going to start in the first space again. And with a single insert, pull through for two loops on the hook, pull through both. That's your single. Okay, on that first row of the cream color with the single crochets, we're going to end with number 190 in that turning chain. So there's that two strands where you go under. Cut 
complete your single. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to turn. We're still working with the cream. Now we're going to skip that very first space in here. Going into the next one with a single. Now chain one. Skip the next space. Single in the next. Chain one. Skip the next space. Single in the next. And continue in that pattern all the way across until we get to the end. We're at the end of that fourth row. We're going to, we're at the last space. Do the chain one. Enter your single. There's your two strands. Chain one. Turn and we're going to do a row of single crochet in each space. So start with the first space right here and then single into the single below there's the two strands single into the next space single into the single next to it single into the next space single into the single. See where I'm entering the hook? And just continue all the way across for your 190 stitches. At the end of that row of single crochets and cream, we're going to enter the last stitch into the turning chain so that we end up with the 190. Now we're going to bring back the pink. You see you cut off the cream. Finish that last single crochet with the pink. Chain three. Now turn. Now we're going to work two rows of V stitches. Okay, so we're going to enter the first V stitch into that first space. Well, you might count it as the second. If this is the first, we're going to count that as the second. Oops. Okay, so we do a double crochet into that space. Chain one double crochet into the same space. So you yarn over, insert the hook, bring the yarn through for three loops on the hook, pull the yarn through the first two, and then pull through the last two loops. And that's a double crochet. So we enter a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space, and that forms a V. Now we skip the next space, enter another V in the next space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space for a V. Skip the next space, V stitch into the next. And that's what we will do all the way across. Okay, we ended that V stitch row. We entered the V stitch in that space, third from the last, skipped the next, and then we entered a double crochet into the turning chain. Okay, so V stitch, skip a space, double crochet and then chain three. We ended up incidentally with 94 V stitches. Okay, so now we are going to turn and we're going to continue working in the V stitches. 
Now this time what we do is enter the double crochet into the center of the V-stitch below. So under that chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space. See there? Now, V-stitch into the next V-stitch below. Chain one, double crochet. There you go. So, of course, do that all the way across. Okay, we entered the last V-stitch. Now we're going to do a double crochet into the turning chain. To end the row, we start the double crochet, but we don't finish it because we're going to bring in the next color. So with the two loops on the hook, bring in the coral, which is the light peach, and finish that last stitch, chain four, and turn. Okay, now we are going to skip that first space skip the next space in the next space we enter three double crochets okay so skip the first space skip the v stitch enter three double crochets in the next space chain two now skip the V, skip the next space, skip the next V. In the next space, three double crochets. Chain two. All right, so now we're gonna repeat that all the way across. Skip the next V, skip the next space, skip the next V, in the next space, three double crochets. Okay, at the end of that row, we do our last chain two, and enter a double crochet into the turning chain. Chain four. Turn. Now we're going to skip that first big space and enter three double crochets into the next space. Chain two and three double crochets in the next space. The large spaces. Chain two and continue across. At the end of this row, which was row nine, we do our last three double crochets, chain two, and now we're going to skip this cluster down here, enter a double crochet into the turning chain at the end. Do not complete the double. We will bring in the bright peach, the darker peach, to complete that double crochet. Make sure you're leaving good sized tails because we're going to weave those in at the end. And if I don't mention it, every time we change colors, you are cutting off the previous color. Chain three, turn. Now we are going to work in half doubles. So in the first space, enter a half double crochet. Chain one. Skip the next space of those doubles below, enter a half double into 
the next space. Chain one, enter a half double into that next larger space. Chain one, skip the next space, enter a half double into the next. Chain one. So let me show you what we've done here. Okay, so we enter half double into the first big space, chain one, skip that space in between the half doubles, enter another half double into the next space, enter chain one, enter a half double into the big space, chain one, skip the next space of the double crochets, and enter the half double into the next space of the double crochets. Okay, we entered the half double into the space between the double crochets, the last half double of that row into the second chain of that turning chain. Chain three, turn. Now we're going to continue with the half doubles, starting in that first space, chain one, and then a half double into the next space, chain one, and half double in the next space, chain one, and keep going across. Okay, now at the end of that row of the half doubles, we did that chain one. Now we're going to half double into the turning chain, and we are going to chain three. Now we are going to repeat this row until we have 10 total rows in this color. You are working with a loose tension for these half doubles because we're going for an open, airy look and feel. So we want to use a loose tension for the half doubles for most of the pattern, but certainly for these half double rows. Okay, so now turn, enter your first half double in that first space, chain one, enter the next half double in the next space, chain one, and continue entering the half doubles with the chains in between in each space for a total of 10 rows of this color. Okay, we finished that 10th row of the half doubles. We did that last chain one, entered the half double, the last half double into the turning chain. We brought in the bright pink. You know how to do that. So now we're just going to chain one, turn, and we're going to do a row of single crochets we will start with three singles in that first space. Keep working fairly loosely. And then two singles in the next, two in the next. So we're going to be entering two singles in each space. Starting at the beginning, if I had, if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, the big spaces, when you get to space 45, which is this one here, we enter three single crochets, and then in the next space two, and in the next one three. And then we continue with the two till you get to the end. All right, we finish that last row of the single crochets by entering three, two single crochets in that last space, two, and then one in the turning chain. And we completed that last one by bringing in the coral, the coral, which is a light peach. Chain four, and then turn. All right, now we are going to work this 
stitch, which I am absolutely in love with, and I can't wait to try it on another project I have in mind. I don't know what it's called, so if anybody knows what this is called, please go ahead and put it into the comments below. So we will start by skipping the first three spaces. One, two, three, and then we enter a double crochet into the next space. Another double crochet into the same space. Chain one, another, two double crochets into the same space. Okay, so we've got two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets in one space. Then we skip three, one, two, three, do the same thing in the next space with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So we're forming like little scallops. And that's what we will do across the row. So we're skipping three spaces. One, two, three. And then do your scallop. At the end of that row, we skip the three at the end and enter a double crochet into the turning chain. Then chain four and turn. Now we're going to enter that same scallop into the center of the scallop below. So do your two doubles. Chain one, two more doubles. And then repeat. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Right at the end of that row, you enter the last set of the scallops and then a double crochet in the turning chain, chain four, and turn. Now we're going to add a little more interest. So go ahead and enter your scallop in the first set. And now we're going to enter a single crochet into the space between the two sets. And then enter your scallop into the next set. And then a single crochet into the space between the scallops. And then continue. So that will be the pattern for this row. Okay, let's see where we are here. You finish that last row where you entered the singles. You did the last set for the scallop, and then you entered your double crochet in the turning chain, you chained four, and we turned, and then we did, we went back to the pattern where you just enter your scallop, 
in each scallop below. Now, the pattern we will be repeating is going to be a three row repeat. Okay, so you did your two of what I'm going to call the plain scallops, the two rows of the plain, and then on the third row, you come in with your singles. And then row four, the plain scallop, row five, the plain scallop, row six, you enter the row with the singles again. So that will be your three row repeat. Plain, plain, single. Plain, plain, single. Plain, plain, single. You will do that four times. So you're going to have four sets of the three rows for a total of 12 rows of this pattern. Okay, we've completed the 12 rows of the coral or the light peach as I'm looking at it. And now we are bringing back the dark peach or the bright peach. So we do a chain of two and then we're going to turn. All right, in that very first space, we're going to enter two single crochets. And then one single crochet in the next space. In between those double crochets, two in the next space, one single into the next space. Now we're going to do a half double into the single crochet below. Now pull that loop up nice and tall, go through all three. Now we're going to do a single crochet into each of the next three spaces. So in between the double crochets and the scallop, and then the half double again into that single below. Bring up that loop nice and tall. Go through all three. So continue with that to the end of the row. All right, we're at the last scallop. We entered that half double in the single. Now we're going to enter one single in the next space, two in the next, one single in the next, then two singles in the space, the last space, and then a single in the turning chain. So now you should have 190 stitches. Now we're going to chain four and turn. Now we will skip three spaces. So you're counting that very first one. One, two, three. Enter a single into the next space. Chain three. Skip three. One, two, three. Enter a single into the next space. Chain three. Skip the next three. One, two, three. Enter a single into the next. And that's your pattern for this row. All right, now for that last row, you skipped that last scallop and then you enter a single crochet into the turning chain and chain four and turn. There's your chain four, then enter a single crochet into the center of the chain below, chain three, enter a single crochet into the space that is formed by that chain below, chain three, single crochet, into the space, chain three, single crochet into the space. And just keep going across. Okay, so here's where we're at. So on that last row, you went ahead and entered your single crochet 
into the center of that big space. You did your chains and then you enter a single crochet into the turning chain. And we're going to turn and repeat that row exactly the same. Where you're entering your single crochets, chain three single crochets into those spaces. So it's going to be two rows of the entering the single crochets and the chains. So when you get to the end of that row, you entered your last single crochet into the last chain space. You did your th three chains and you enter a single crochet into the last space or up here. And then you're going to switch over to the pink, chain one and turn with the pink. Now we're just going to do single crochets across the row. So we're going to start with four single crochets into that first big space and then a single crochet into the single crochet below and then three single crochets into the next big space single crochet into the single crochet below three single crochets into the next big space and that's the pattern till you get to the end at the end of that row of the single crochets you enter your last single crochet into the last single crochet below and four single crochets four into that last big space and then a single crochet into the turning chain this will give us the count of 190 again then we're going to chain four and turn this next row, row 38. So we did our chain four and turned. We're going to skip the first four spaces. Okay, so to the left of that first single crochet below will be your first space. One, two, three, four. Now enter a double crochet into the next space. Chain three, skip four, one, two, three, four, enter a double into the next space. Chain three, skip four, one, two, three, four, double in the next. Continue that for the pattern till you get to the very end where you're, you'll enter your last double, skip the four, and then enter the last double into the turning chain. All right, so at the end of row 38, we had done that last double crochet in the turning chain. Now on row 39, we chain six and then double crochet into the top of the double crochet below. And we are entering into the two strands. And you'll see it when you go to enter your double crochet, you'll see the two strands. And then chain three and then again with the double crochet into the top of the double crochet below. And just continue that across. Chain three, double crochet on top of the double crochet. You will do the last chain three and then double crochet on top of the turning chain. Chain one turn. Now we're going to do four single crochets into that first big space. Then a single crochet into the top of that double crochet below. There's those two strands. Four single crochets in the next space, single crochet on top of the double crochet below. That's the pattern across the row. 
All right, we finish that off by entering the four singles into the space and then a last single into the turning chain. So five all together. Then we attach the cream, chain five. Now we're going to turn. For row 41, we're going to skip the first two spaces, enter a double crochet into the next. Chain two. Skip the next two spaces, double crochet into the next. That'll be the pattern for this row. Chain two, skip two, enter a double. Okay, that row was completed by doing that last chain two, skipping the two spaces below, entering a double crochet into the turning chain, then chain four and turn. Then we enter two double crochets into the space below, chain one. Two double crochets into the space, chain one, two double crochets in the space, chain one, all the way across. At the end of that row, which is row 42, this one with the two doubles in the chain one, we ended with the last two doubles in the space, chained one, and then a double crochet into the turning chain. Then we chain three and turn. Now we are simply going to enter a double crochet into every space. Okay, so you're working into the spaces, not under the strands at the top, but into the actual spaces in between the double crochets. That gives you an airier, more open weave. And do work loosely fairly loosely with this row. All right, we ended that row of the double crochets in each space with the double crochet in the last space, double crochet in the turning chain, chain four, and turn. Now we're going to do two rows of V-stitches. Okay, so we did that row with the doubles in every space, Chain four, we're entering, we're skipping that first space, entering a V stitch in the next space, which is, to refresh your memory, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space. Then we skip a space, in the next space, enter the V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip a space, V stitch. Skip a space, V stitch. And then repeat that row one more time. Now the end of that first V stitch row looks like this. You enter a V stitch, skip a space, and then enter a double crochet in the turning chain. Chain four, turn, and repeat the row. So at the end of the second V-stitch row, enter your V-stitch, skip that last space, enter a double crochet in the turning chain, chain three, turn. Now we're going to enter double crochets in each space. So enter a double crochet in the first space, double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, and you're going into the spaces just like before. Okay, we are at the finish line. How exciting is this? Okay, so that last row of the cream where you entered a double crochet into every space, you ended with the double crochet in the last space, double crochet in the turning chain. Then you bring in the coral, the light peach, and do three chains and then turn. So now we work a half double in each space. 
and you start into the very, very first space here. Now that previous row, the last cream color row, you ended with 128 double crochets. This row you're going to end with 130 half double crochets. At the end of this row, you are working this time under the two strands again. See how you're going into the two strands rather than into the space. Now for the last one, you enter the half double into the turning chain. And now we get to tie it off. Okay, now I like to do two chains when I finish it off for a stronger knot. So yes, you do cut off the yarn so you can pull it through. Squeeze it tight and that'll give you a nice knot. Okay, then we will go back at the end. We're not, we're done with this panel. However, you need to make two, <laughs> okay? I hope you knew that from the beginning. This takes two panels. And this, by the way, is the bottom. This is going to turn out to be like the uh, sleeve part. This will end up at your elbow. Okay, so when you fold the panel in half, this side, this will be the neckline. And then this will be more of the sleeve part, if you want to call it that. Okay, so we make two of these, and then we will come back and put them together. And don't be worried about the bottom. Where it might look kind of wonky and uneven, we will come back after we put the two panels together and put a little border along the bottom. This is the bottom. Okay, now it's time to attach the panels. So we are laying the two panels on top of each other. And you want right sides touching each other. Okay, so you've got the wrong sides facing you. Okay, so to determine the right side and the wrong side, look at that first row with the pink that you did, that you started the project with. Okay, so the bottom of that has the ridge of the chain, the starting foundation chain is at the bottom. And on the back side, you've got a ridge over here, totally different ridge. It's the top of the stitch, whereas on the right side, the ridge that you see is from the foundation chain. Okay, so there's the two panels with the right sides touching. Now, you will determine how far up you want to seam. Okay, this will be, this is the back. I'm calling this the back. And the back and the front is the same, it's just I'm starting seaming on the back and I am doing mine for 25 inches from the bottom up to the center of the back near the shoulder not too near the shoulder I'm leaving it fairly open on the back okay so this is the bottom so start from the bottom up I'm going up for 25 inches that's what I determined was good for me. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn needle and a length of the pink yarn. Take your two panels, insert the hook into the corners of both sides. Don't worry about those tails. We'll take care of those later. And then come back around. Those tails are going to get in the way, but you know, just move them out of your way. And then just keep going. Go under two strands on each side. There we go. And 
and see how you're forming that little loop there because you're going around okay so do that as far up as you want for yourself and then for the front I'm going to do things a little bit different all right you've still got the right sides facing of course I mean the right sides together wrong side is facing you now what I'm doing different with this poncho is I'm going to leave the front mostly open okay so this is the center seam and I am going to measure 21 inches up Get my measuring tape. Okay, and there is about twenty one inches. So that's where I am going to start seaming. I'm starting in the center because I'm leaving the bottom open. Okay, so what I would do then is I'm going to seam for about two and a half inches. And that's all. Okay, so I only want the front to be closed that little tiny bit and then the rest will just be open. This is a summer poncho. You know, so it's okay to leave it open and keep it nice and airy okay so that's what you're going to do so you're just going to seam it exactly the same way as you did for the back seam now if you prefer of course you can seam all the way down absolutely and then I'm leaving the sides open okay these sides here I'm leaving that open but again you can close it if you prefer and leave a nice wide arm opening okay now before we put the border on the scraggly side for lack of a better word you're going to want to take care of your stragglers because there's going to be quite a few in some spots so what you're going to do is take your tail. I'm going to start with this bright peach and insert it into your tapestry needle. Bring the needle. We're working on the wrong side. Okay, so the wrong side, when you're looking at the pink stitches, has the ridge right between the pink and the orange or the uh, peach. Okay, so take your needle, insert in and out under one strand of the same color that you're working with. You're going to want to do a few more than I'm doing here, but I didn't leave enough of a tail. And then you turn it and you go back up the other direction. And then bring it through. Turn it and do it for a third time for extra stability. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so bring it through a few times. Now, a lot of people will leave it at that and cut it. I prefer to do knots. Because I want to make extra sure that it's not coming apart on me. And I just lost... Okay, so just do a knot and then cut it. And I actually do like two knots. I just want to be extra sure. Okay, so go ahead and weave in your tails. And now we will do a border. And it's only going to be along this one edge. Well, on both panels, of course. All right now, I would have preferred to use pink just because then it will match up with the front and the back seam. 
but I ran out of pink. I had just enough to finish the project, so I'm going to use the ivory. You can use whatever color you prefer. All right, so now this time you're working with the right side facing you. Okay, so now here's the right side. This is the foundation chain, which makes this the right side. Insert the hook in the corner, attach the yarn, do two chains to secure it, and now do a row of single crochet as evenly spaced as possible across that panel. I'm not going to give you a count, just feel your way through. And you can still use a, a loose tension. All right, so now do this all the way across. And if it still looks too uneven, then feel free to go ahead and chain one, turn, and do another row of the single crochets. 